Seven things you need to do before releasing music. Hey yo, welcome one and all. It is Vital and I'm here to tell you something really important. Release day can make or break your release. So let me tell you why. When you pour everything in your heart into making an absolute smash song and the last thing you want is for people to miss it on the day it's ready to drop. Hmm. So the question is, how can you prepare for your release day and make sure it reaches far and wide on day one? So let's dive into some ways to give your release a better chance of success on release day. So like I said, this video is all about the seven things that you need to do before releasing new music. Yes, people, so make sure you click below for all the chapters, timestamps or markers, but this ain't one of them videos you're gonna have to move around. I'm gonna need you guys to lock into each and every tip on this video because each tip is just as important as the last. You're gonna need all of them to successfully understand and get the most out of releasing your new music. So either way, you know exactly what to do. Sit back, take note and relax. All right, so before we start, you know exactly what to do. Make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna need you to subscribe, hit like, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. And for the Ditto community, I'm gonna need you guys to get in the comments. I'll be in the comments, we'll be in there to reply and get back to any of your questions, statements, or any queries at all. So let's go. And for the first tip, upload early. The earlier you upload your music to your distributor, the more time you'll have to implement the advice I'm about to tell you and run a successful promo campaign leading up until the drop of your release. Listen, I recommend uploading four to six weeks way before your track's meant to be released officially. The more time, the better. It is actually quite unheard of for artists to upload their tracks months in advance. But in the climate that we're living in right now, it's actually your advantage to do so. One thing I think is really cool is to make a semi-planned release for the year. If you have five to ten singles, you can spread them across the year and make a device plan to kind of put them out and keep building that momentum. So the key thing here is to ensure that you upload early and you give yourself the time to promote that track. Alright, tip two, pitch for playlists. So once you've uploaded your track relatively early and your release is now in the Spotify system, you can pitch it directly to their official playlists. You'll be able to do the pitching through Spotify for artists. But like I said, you'll want to do it well in advance before your release date, at least a couple of weeks beforehand. Spotify's editors get pitched thousands of tracks per week. So make sure that they have time to hear and consider yours. So I've got a few videos that you can check out and these videos directly kind of give you a little bit more information on Spotify for artists and how to pitch your tracks for their playlists. Editorial, algorithmic and independent playlists. All right, tip three, share your pre-saved link. Pre-saves and pre-orders can make a big difference to your release when it comes to download numbers and stream count. Not only that, but the algorithm on platforms like Spotify and Apple Music notice when people are pre-ordering and pre-save and it ends up working in your favor. For example, boosting your chances of landing on playlists like Discover Weekly, Release Radar and a whole lot more. And again, I've made a few videos about this. If you look at the links in the bio, you'll get a little bit more information on that. And you'll see what we speak about the idea of Release Radar and Discover Weekly and exactly what those playlists mean and how to actually get in the runnings of having your music present on those playlists and others too. All right, tip four, create teasers. Teasers are amazing simply for the fact that you can get really creative here. You can utilize bits of your song, bits of the video that you plan to potentially release, or you can even create some new content in and around the music or the video, or just the whole campaign itself that will entice people to get involved into playing your track, saving your track, downloading your track, or pre-ordering your track. It's about giving your fans and followers a taste of the release before it actually lands. For example, posting a 15 second snippet of maybe the best part of your track, or even a sneak peek of the artwork. Maybe you show half of it, part of it, you do a little flash so people have to really go back and see what it is. There's many different pieces of software that you can utilize, even if it's just on your phone, apps like InShot, apps like iMovie, apps like Premiere Rush, apps like LumaFusion. And if we're talking about utilizing your computer, then we can kind of go a little bit heavier in the software and go into things like Final Cut or Adobe Premiere Pro, maybe Motion or After Effects simply to get a little bit more 3D animation going on. And if you're very creative, but maybe you don't have the time or necessarily the patience to work on these apps, 
then you can kind of just think a little bit more simple by creating a short mp4 or .mov video simply with the artwork and the music running in the background and keep the clip very short and precise and maybe do it just before it hits a drop or just on a drop to entice people to want to hear the rest. And here's an example of something I did recently when releasing one of my tracks, Roses and Escape. I basically had the artwork and then I animated it utilizing an app on my iPhone. I actually did a double single drop and pieced them together and on this video I had a clip of each song and I animated what was going on in the actual artwork. Roses are red, growing up for them, they're gonna help me again, no. 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 All right, tip five, updating your profiles. A lot of the time, artists and creators really underestimate the idea of just updating their profiles. It's so important to ensure where you have the flexibility to update and keep relevant information, descriptions, photos, merch, releases and shows where you can try and keep those up to date. So on Spotify, you can do it through Spotify for artists. You can do it on Apple Music and you can change your image. On your social platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even YouTube, you can update your banners, you can update your description. Make sure the link in the bio is the relevant link for what's going on now and what you want to share. So realistically, Facebook and YouTube, that banner should always change and it should always be the relevant thing of what's going on. So if you are releasing a track right now, you need to find the correct dimensions for each one and make a different size version of a similar edit for each one, either promoting your single, saying that it's coming soon or saying that it's out now. And realistically, if you can do all of those things and as the time goes on, it starts to change, people would accidentally, indirectly see these things and it would be a slight or light reminder for people that are interested in what you do and as you can and where you can on Facebook on Twitter you can pin music you can pin tweets you can leave your most relevant or specific tweet or post at the top so when people do come to your profile it's the first thing they see it's about lightly reminding people so as the day starts to come closer to release day they're not surprised they're actually interested they're eager and they're curious you want people to want to listen to your music. You want people realistically to know that it's their choice why they're coming to your music, but sometimes you have to poke the bear, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I mean, another thing you can do, not all social media is allowed this, but Twitter, for example, you can change your main name all day long, not your handle, but your name. So my name is Vital, so if I've got a track coming out called Roses, I could say Roses out now, I could say Roses coming soon, I could say Roses and put the date, you know, 20th of the whatever, the whatever. So everyone's reminded by that every time I tweet, every time they see my profile and obviously if I've got 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 followers and I'm reminding those people indirectly all the time it just helps when it actually comes to the day of the drop and if I haven't mentioned please 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 all the places where you can have links on your profile those should be your pre-save links those should be links to your Spotify profile those should be links to pre-order your track or those should be links to your website but regardless all of these links should be leading to the track that's coming out soon Highly, highly, highly important, the next step. Step six, secure your press coverage. So when we say press, it's in many different spaces, radio, PR, marketing, all these things, blogs, vlogs, anywhere you can promote your track beforehand from a different publication. A good PR campaign in the run up to release day can help a track achieve more momentum and reach an audience that otherwise it would never see. And you have to really think you can pay for a PR campaign and outsource it from a different company. But regardless, even if you do that, all the things I'm suggesting, you still have to do because realistically people buy into you and your music, not necessarily someone else screaming about it. So the more you care about it, the more people will care about it. So this is a key thing when you're sending your music to blogs, vlogs, write-ups, any journalist, and any kind of publication that will promote your music. When you are sending your track, upload your release as a private SoundCloud link or an unlisted YouTube video. And you'll need to source the right blogs and the right journalists, and even vlogs too. And you'll want to send it to them weeks before your release. I'm talking four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, if anything, because they need time to look into who you are as an artist if they don't know you already, and then kind of put you into their schedule so it can align properly. Again, down in the description, below the like button, you can learn a little bit more about exactly how to get press coverage and learning how to send your music to the right blocks. 
Tip seven, organize events. And obviously the world's been changing, but it doesn't stop you from creating events online, creating live shows in real life, whether it's masses of people or minimal people, or doing a collection of all, inviting people to a listening party and live streaming parts of it on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, and really allowing the networks to spread themselves, encouraging people to share, to do challenges, to create their own version of your song, to do covers with other artists, whether it's a watch party on Facebook. All these elements, all these spaces here can create a network, a promotion, just by the idea of bringing people together, keeping it engaging so people know something's happening and they get involved. And another thing you can do is do a live performance at home. You can actually have multiple streams up at the same time. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, even Twitter using things like Periscope, Ustream, Twitch. All these things can be used at the same time on multiple devices. And even if you get minimal people on each, that collective number might be something that you can brag about and say, look, we had all these people involved on the day of the release and now the track's out. And then you can repurpose that content that you've live streamed as videos to post on your socials with a small edit. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about live streaming, again, I've covered this in a video down below, so you can check it below the like button. Uh, definitely like, subscribe. Let me know how that helps you in the comments below. I mean, this is where we are. We've reached seven tips you need to do before releasing new music. So if you're an artist out there, creative out there, you can follow any of these tips. I do recommend that you take them all into account because they all have different areas that will help you on a bigger picture of releasing your music and allowing your music to get to exactly where it needs to be. So don't forget, it's about uploading early, giving yourself the time pitching for playlists as early as possible, creating and sharing your pre-save links and your pre-orders, devising a way to make the best type of teaser video or teaser content, updating all of your profiles, securing as much but more specific press coverage as possible, and organizing an event or events in different ways, different spaces, and in different mediums if possible. I really do hope this video helps and I hope that you guys take in these tips simply because I use them all the time, it's worked wonders for me. And with these tips, you never know where your music will go and how it'll end up. And it does depend on the work and the effort that you guys put in in regards to all these tips. So please jump in the comments and let me know exactly how you've got on. Let me know what you think and then come back to this video and let me know exactly how you've got on and if it worked for you. And if it didn't work for you, tell me why. Tell me what you did better or what you missed out on that you could have done. Let me know in the comments. I'll be in there and I'll definitely be getting back to you guys as well. I appreciate it. So from me, Vital and the Ditto team, love and respect, I'ma need you to subscribe. I'ma definitely need you to hit like and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. More love and more powers, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.